Sirius, what is the creepiest or most unexplained thing that's happened to you that you still think about to this day? Mystery of Stuff I had a recurring nightmare of a pitch black parasite sucking the life out of me. Sometimes it waited for me in dark corners to go to bed. My cats always slept on my bed during that time. For me it was a very stressful time, I got an itch at the place of my chest where I dreamed the parasite was sucking my life out of me. I got sick and felt a pea-sized lump. I went to my doc and they ordered a biopsy of that lump. As it turned out I had male breast cancer at the age of 28. After I got well again the dream never came back and my cats slept in their places again and not on my bed. The dream was creepy enough what it made for me were my cats protecting me. Not creepy as such, more just unexplained. As a kid I was round a friend's house after school. It was a sunny day so we went to the park near his house, then through the woods there. His younger brother was with us as well. In the woods, beside the path, there were red berries on the ground. The berries had been arranged into three stick figures, which was weird as there were three of us. We got back to the house, and my friend and I decided to go back to take another look, his brother stayed at the house. When we got back there were only two stick figures. My friend snapped a photo on his phone then kicked the berries, and we ran back to the house. I have no idea what was going on, was it just some kind of prank being pulled on us? Right after quarantine started I got a package in the mail. It was addressed to my name and my address and contained one pink starburst and nothing else. To this day, I have no idea who sent it or why. The return address was a vacant office space across the country. Was camping alone in a small one-person tent. All snug and secure in the tent, I went to sleep. Was woken by a clap of thunder at 3 a.m. to discover both the inner and outer tent door was wide open. That was freaky. I woke up in the bath at a very specific time, like 5.45. Twice. Ten years in between. Water was getting cold, I was naked. No memory of getting there, some fragments of like seeing my own hand turning on the tap. No drugs or alcohol or even medication involved. The worst thing was the fear. When I woke up I felt an inexplicable, almost primordial, dread. Lasted for hours, I was shaking, couldn't function. Still freaks me out thinking about it. Might have been three times I can't remember properly, I still get the shakes from the memory. Edit to add, oh gosh you guys, thank you so much for the awards. My first. One of my cats had been missing for a few weeks. I had given her up as gone. While on the phone with a friend 100 miles away, who has never seen my house, he interrupts himself from talking about work and says with a strange urgency, Doug. Open your front door. Your cat is sitting on the porch waiting to come in. And of course upon opening the door, I find her just casually sitting there. We were both beyond blown away. Between sobs of joy I asked how did you know, and he said, I don't know man. That was really weird. I got a DM on Instagram asking for nudes. I said no. The person proceeded to tell me my entire life story, shit that no one should know about. It scared me, honestly, it was so weird. They knew all of my exes, everyone I had ever slept with, the name of the person who molested me. It was kind of chilling. They deactivated their account. No idea who it was. I was deployed to Iraq and we stayed in a former prison in Baghdad. During the night we would see and hear strange things. The base at this time only had soldiers, but we would hear children playing from inside the prison. One day we decided to dig deeper to see where the kids were. When we finally found where the noise was coming from we found a room with the ceiling caved in. We didn't find any kids but found kids' books, toys and kids' clothes. Everything looked like it wasn't moved in weeks. We continued to hear the kids in the year we spent there. I was putting my daughter to bed, and she was talking about her godmother, BC we were reading a book that her godmother had gotten her. Her godmother died in 2019, of breast cancer. She was my very best friend, more like a sister, and she doted on my daughter. 
We are reminiscing about her, and my daughter's twinkle light she has on her ceiling starts going off. They have multiple settings and they are on the rainbow setting. Not too weird, maybe they have a short or something. I go to turn them off. They aren't plugged in. I figure it's my friend saying hi. She loved rainbows. I'm not superstitious, but she promised to stick around and haunt us. I find it comforting. Those lights still go off every now and then. When I was about 10 years old, I had a pretty scary dream. In this dream, my mom drowned in quicksand and my little brother, 7 or 8 at the time, jumped in to save her. In the process, he broke his arm. The next day, my little brother broke his arm. No quicksand involved and my mom was never in danger IRL, but still, I was super freaked out by the fact that I had dreamt about my little brother's injury literally the night before. To this day, when I think about it, it gives me chills. Edit, spelling mistake. When I was 17 I had just gotten off my shift at Wendy's and was sitting in the parlor for my ride and a middle-aged man approached me about a job offer, he asked me questions about my job and Wendy's then he told me about the job he was offering. He said there were other girls and they all lived in like a dorm and the job came with benefits, it was in an office setting and other things I don't remember, but the entire time every danger bell in my body was going off full blast it felt like my body became a vibrator. I don't remember if after the multiple rejections from me he left or if my ride had come and I zoomed out of there. The only thing I can think to this day is did I almost get sex trafficked? I woke up for some reason and I heard the hammer of a gun being pulled back in front of my face. I could hear the metal on metal and the creaking and the clicks. I opened my eyes thinking I was about to die and nothing was there. The previous owner of the house had overdosed in the living room and used to deal guns, we found some in the attic. I once caught my neighbor staring at me outside my bedroom window, while I was straightening my hair with no trousers on, and I immediately ducked under my window pane as soon as I saw him. He was legit stood in this alleyway that connects the street's back gardens, arms crossed, and there for at least 15 more minutes just staring through my window. I even got a picture of it. Pretty sure I was 15. Mystery of stuff.